Now, if you want to configure a custom in-product help experience within Dynamics 365 that is tailored to your particular organization, then you can use a feature which is provided out of the box called Custom Help Paints and Guided Tasks. Now, you can use these custom help paints to provide table, form and language specific help and guidance that includes rich text, content links, images and video links. Now how you can configure those, let's go ahead and have a look. So in one of our previous videos, we discussed about another feature within uh, Dynamics 365, which is custom help for customizable entities, where we used combination of global custom help URL and table help URL. Now, if you want to see that video, the link is down in the description, so you can go ahead and have a look. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about custom help paints, wherein you can use uh, the tools that are available within Dynamics 365 to build a help experience within the uh, system itself, and you can also also deploy these uh, built-in experiences via solutions to your higher environments just like the normal solution deployment so uh, let's just go ahead and have a look how you can configure these things so go to your power platform admin center go to the environment and under the settings click on features and under the features you will find health features right now this was the setting that we used in our previous video now for this particular example we are going to enable custom help paints over here now you will notice that as soon as you enable the custom help paints the other feature is automatically disabled so you can only use one of these features so once you enable the custom help planes go ahead and click on save now you need to note uh, the following security roles that are available out of the box now they are help page author and help page consumer now as the name suggests to be able to edit the custom help paints you need to have the help page author role okay and for the normal users who just have to read the content that is developed they need to have the help page consumer role all right so if you just click on this particular um, security role and go to custom entities tab here you will see that there is a special entity called help page and these are uh, the global privileges which has been given to the help page author role similarly if you go to help page consumer role and go to the custom entities and over here if you look for help page you will see that it only has the read permission okay so based on how you want to consume or if you want to edit the custom help page so you need to take care of which roles your user has all right so once we are done with our prerequisites uh, we can log in as the help author and can start uh, customizing the custom help panes and create guided help tasks all right now when you author the help please note that each help pane is unique for the following context that is application the table the form and the language right so dynamics 365 is the app our application uh, we have taken an example over here as the case form and behind it is the case table or the incident table and the language is the default language which is uh, english australia which is selected over here right so whatever help we develop will be in this particular context okay here we are going to create the help for the case entity so just open a case record and then click on help over here and here you will notice that there is a blank custom help pane. So click on the ellipses over here and click on edit. So using these tools, you can customize the help. All right. So you can enter a bulleted or numbered list. You can insert hyperlinks. You can insert balloon. And I will just show you what that means. Also the coach marks. You can group your help content within different sections. You can insert image and you can insert video. Now in this whole custom help pane, you can insert a free text anywhere on the pane. All right. So just for an example, I'm entering some uh, text over here. Uh, obviously you can elaborate a little more, but this is just to show that you can enter free text. All right. And you can highlight this free text and then you can use some more tools over here to do some formatting. So I can bold it over here. And then for these particular texts, I can make it a numbered list or I can make it a bulleted list as well. 
All right. Obviously, when we're creating a help, we also consider a user who is not trained on the system or user who is onboarding or the user who is new to the system, right? So we also want to make the help content a guided tasks. So there are a couple of things that we can do, like we can insert coach marks and we can insert balloons. So let's just insert some coach marks. So I'll just highlight this new and click on insert coach mark and basically drag this particular onto that element over here right new and i will click on insert similarly for case title i will insert the coach mark and drag this on the case title and then on the cus for the customer again i will insert the coach mark and highlight the customer insert and similarly for save I will insert a coach mark and click on save here and click on insert. All right. So let's just save and see how that that works. So for example, I'm I'm a user. I'm reading this and I see okay, click on new, and I see that this is highlighted. That means it's sort of a hyperlink. So if I click on this, and the system will guide me. Oh, this is the new button where I need to click on. Right. Similarly, if I click on these fields and it will show me it will automatically scroll and it will also show me okay where i have to click on and similarly for the other field and similarly for save button and as soon as i put my mouse hover over my mouse over these balloons it disappears right that means i'm on the right place so let's just see some more features over here if i go ahead and click on edit so now I want to enter some more content, but this time I want to group my help content. All right. So for that, I can insert sections here and click on insert section and give it a title. Let's just say I want to insert information about tabs. When I open this help pane, I want this, uh, the sections to be collapsed by default. So I want to enter some information here about summary tab and about details. And when I highlight the summary, I want to insert a balloon over here. Now this is similar to the coach marks, but over here you can also add some description. So I will drag this element and click and specify that on summary. And then I will give it a title. Let's just copy this. And this tab contains uh, general details about the case all right and similarly for details i will add insert the balloon drag this to the details copy the same title and then provide some description contains now you can be as descriptive as you want I'm just inserting this as an example, all right? So let's just save this and test this out. So first you will notice that there is a section called tabs and it is in collapse state because that's what we selected in our settings. So if I open this up and as user, I can say, oh, let's show me the details about the summary tab. If I click over here and you will see that there's a balloon that has come up over here with the information. So this tab contains general details about the case. Similarly, if I click on details, it will highlight the details tab and it will show me the description. So you can use uh, these balloons and coach marks to guide the users uh, and to give more information about different components on the forms. So let's just go ahead and click on edit again. Now, let me just add another section over here and call it additional resources collapse by default and here what I would like to do is show you an example of inserting a hyperlink and also video okay a text here so I will highlight this particular text click on hyperlink and put the URL over here you can if you want you can change the text and you, if additionally, you can open this in a new window. If you do not select this, it will open in the same window itself. So click on insert. And now I also want to add a video link, let's say from my YouTube channel, right? So right now the custom help paint support the following video resources that is from Microsoft Stream, YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. 
all right so these are the only sources that are supported right now so here i will go ahead and click on insert video and i will insert a youtube video so additionally you can also provide the time from where your video should begin i will just leave it like that and click on insert and you will see that the video link is available here so i can click on save and let's just test it out so here you will see an additional resource section and this is the hyperlink if i click on it it opens in a new window and it shows me the link to the page where with that i had selected and this is the video which you can open and start the video within this custom help pane itself all right now once you have created your custom help and guided tasks now let's just see how you can uh, insert that into a solution so let's just go to the solutions you can open your default solution or the solution that you have created and under the components you will find a special component over here called help pages all right so select these help pages and click on add existing and this is something that i have noticed is that the help page that is created like for example we created for the case entity right so uh, by default when you select this you will not find any display name so this is i don't know if this is an error or not but this is what i've observed so you just select that and click on ok so basically you are actually guessing what this is and if you double click on it and here you can notice some additional details and from here from the path you can make it out that this is for the case entity that we created or from the content itself all right so go ahead and uh, rename uh, this or provide a display name so let's just say case help and then click on save and close so basically now what you have done is now you have selected this particular component within your solution and uh, when you're ready you can export the solution and import it in your a higher environment so i hope with this video you understood the concept of custom help paints and guided tasks how you can configure them and how you can add them in your solution why don't you go ahead try it for yourself and we will meet you in next video bye for now